Our approach is, is realistically to move prevention from being crisis prevention to being real, genuine primary and secondary prevention much, much earlier than 56 days as is set out in our legislation, but actually working to make sure that people are in the right homes, the right communities with the right support to sustain um, a tenancy or their housing and not fall into homelessness in the first place. Um, we accept though that that doesn't always work, um, but we're very clear that in the rare occasions where we can't prevent homelessness, uh, we should be working collaboratively to ensure that it is rare, brief and non-repeated. I think there's some real structural challenges, um, not least the fact that actually underlying most forms of homelessness is poverty in one shape, form or variety. Tackling poverty is a huge issue and governments uh, across the world, across the globe have been working on this for a very long time. We don't necessarily own all of the policy levers here in Wales under the devolution settlement around welfare reform and things like that. So we're working to fill in the gaps um, and to address those in different ways. But it does make us think a little bit more creatively about this. There's also then the fundamental problem that if we want to cure homelessness, uh, we do need physical accommodation for people. And that has to be the right accommodation in, in the right places that is affordable um, and supports people to, to thrive. There's a huge amount of excellent practice um, going on across Wales. Uh, what you often find is that it's in small pockets and in different places. You have some brilliant individuals and organisations. And actually when you bring the power of those um, organisations together, and make sure that that activity is coordinated and structured across an area, I think we can have much greater impact. Um, and we do see some of that happening in some parts of, of Wales. How we can facilitate that happening more effectively on a broader scale. And I think the important thing is to work on a person-centred basis. Uh, there is no single fix for a homelessness situation. We have to explore with the individual, the individual household, what is it that will resolve their homelessness situation? And most importantly, how do we then ensure that they are supported to maintain a home in the long term?